Well, it is just about 8 o'clock this morning. I am just getting up and getting around. And I am about ready for a cup of coffee. So I think I'm going to get the kettle on and get some coffee going. Alright, that is good. I just added a little bit of oat milk to it, and this has been a really good surprise of a coffee. Uh, in fact, this coffee that I'm drinking today is probably the biggest surprise of coffee that I have run across so far this year. I buy and test out a lot of different coffees, and sometimes I buy a coffee and I expect great things out of it. Uh, sometimes I buy a coffee and am surprised, and this one has surprised me more than anything else. So this is uh, America's Best Coffee Roasting Company, and I bought this at a discount grocery store called Grocery Outlet, which is a chain of discount grocers here on the west coast of the U.S. And I've had kind of spotty success buying coffee in Grocery Outlet, but I was running through Grocery Outlet on the day that I noticed this and thought I would give it a try. Now it was, I think, I, I want to say it was about $8 for this bag, this 12 ounce bag. And I thought that that was a little bit more than I wanted to spend on a coffee that I've never heard of before. This is a roaster I've never heard of before. But it is an organic coffee and so I bought it, threw it in the corner and just kind of forgot about it. And eventually I figured I'd better break into it because I don't want it just to go to waste. And then when I tried it for the first time a few days ago, I was just blown away at how good it was. So I tend to shy away from coffee that is organic. Uh, for one, organic means it's gonna be a little more expensive. And yes, organic means it's gonna be better for the earth, it's gonna be better for us drinking it. It's probably a great thing to buy organic coffee, but I've just found that usually it's expensive and it doesn't always uh, yield a great cup of coffee. And so usually when I see organic coffee, I'm kind of a little bit wary about giving it a try. Now this one has changed my whole perception. Uh, this coffee is fantastic. Now this is a light roast coffee. This is what I prefer is a light roast. So it is kind of in my wheelhouse of flavor profile and roast profile. Um, it's saying that it tastes like raisin, milk chocolate, and pretzel. And these little words I find to be uh, a little funny. Um, although I would say when I taste this, I would say I'm getting kind of a brown sugar and graham cracker, if that makes any sense. Not much like the description, but that's what my taste buds are telling me. Now, everybody's taste buds are different, of course, and everybody likes a certain type of coffee, roast, and flavor, but um, I am just blown away at how good this is, and especially for the price. Now, here's the kicker. This may be a one-off from Grocery Outlet. Grocery Outlet tends to buy things that are either overstocked or 
kind of near their use-by date. And this isn't near its use-by date, so maybe it was an overstock by this company. Uh, I did a little research on this company because I've never heard of them before. Apparently they're a roaster that is based in the Bay Area of California, and they are not an eight or nine dollar a bag coffee, which is what I paid for them. Regular price for this would be about $14 a bag for a 12 ounce bag. And I did some checking and it seems like it's not a brand that is commonly sold or, or stocked in grocery stores in this area that I'm in at the moment. And uh, that means I may never see it again unless I want to special order it, mail order it. But I tend to not order things online. Uh, for one reason, I don't have a mailbox on my van here. I should get around to doing that, get a mailbox installed in my van, so maybe I can start to get mail wherever I am. But, um, but yeah, if you're interested in it, if you see it around, I would highly recommend it. Uh, you, you may want to uh, order it online as well. Um, I'll put a link to their website, but it I think it's just America Coffee, or oh, it's America's Best Coffee.com. So you can look it up uh, and order some if you'd like. Uh, I'm going to keep my eyes open for it. If I see it again, I will definitely buy it again. This has been one of the best coffees I have tried this year, and so I just wanted to kind of share it. Everybody knows about the big companies, you know, the the Starbuckles and the Peters Coffee and and all of that, and uh, nobody really talks about the little brands, and I think the little brands need to be talked about a little bit more. So I'm going to keep looking for more small brands, and I'll I'll mention them if I like them. And hopefully you find some coffee that you like, whether it's a big brand or little brand, doesn't really matter. As long as it tastes good to you, that's the coffee that you should be drinking. So I'm happy to be drinking this today, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.